Hello, my name is Rena Boynt and the name of my business is Remedia Consulting. Our two ways of restart program has impacted me is one, it has given me the foundational tools and knowledge that I need to start building my business. Uh, before the program, I was clueless as to where to begin. Um, but now I have a trajectory. Now I know where to begin the building process. So literally the program has given me a first start. Um, also, it, it has helped me redefine the goals for my business. Um, so now I know where I want to take the business, what form and shape I want the business to take. Um, and, and, you know, most importantly, um, has helped me understand that at the end of the day, I want my business to facilitate the, the will and purposes of God. And that is, is, is first and most important. One way I will incorporate gender-based violence um, into my business is simply to educate persons about gender-based violence. I think prior to the Postart program, I was not aware that gender-based violence was such an important issue. And maybe there are others out there who are not aware. So I would use my business to educate persons as well as use my business um, as a as a point where victims can come and seek help and guidance on how to deal with their personal situations. The Push Start program has impacted my business in two significant ways. Firstly, we've benefited from the excellent business training provided. The sessions on pursuing operational efficiency stood out to me as it challenged me to review and think of ways to further improve our internal processes and systems. And secondly, is the guidance provided in applying for a DBJ technical assistance voucher. Through the program's assistance, I have successfully connected to a business development organization who will be assisting me with a marketing plan for my business. The process is already underway and we are looking forward to the positive outcomes. Through this experience, the most valuable was engaging my fellow program participants. It was great. Going forward, we will facilitate an internal awareness of gender-based violence via our online training portal. We will also use our social media channels to add to the visibility of this very serious issue. GBV is everybody's business. Hi everyone, I'm Marsha Williamson from Dance Farming. The Push Start program has impacted us in a very tremendous way so far. Our business uh, is just a vision from the Lord that we had that we thought we would implement sometime in the future. But coming into the Push program, we were just motivated and encouraged to move forward now. I remember the first session I came in and hear testimonials of a person's business. It gave me a, a motivation just to say, yes, we can do this. And that's one very important aspect that it had on us, that it motivates us to say, God is able to take us through. And we are in the process of about to be doing the business plan. And that's really a great, tremendous uh, movement forward. And we are grateful. We also plan to incorporate the GBV training as we were taught um, to develop our social media and have some posts on it. So once we have developed that, we plan to continue to put little ads on so that persons become aware of gender-based violence. And as we are in the process of in gathering, you know, we're looking to the Lord to speak, to show us who is actually going through this and just trust the Lord to help them recover, recover from this terrible monster, GBV. Thank you. I operate a restaurant and this Push Start project has really opened my eyes as to how a kingdom business 
is built. And uh, there are some things that I knew, but you sometimes procrastinate and you know kind of have a laid back attitude but it has really opened up my eyes on building proper structures which i never had in my business so that really impacted me i have started i've actually started putting structures in place i never had a business plan i'm now documenting things to put a business plan together um and uh, um, really understanding the importance of, of, of bookkeeping, um, documenting stuff, um, which was really lacking in my business. My focus was on the practical part of it in terms of cooking and having a good meal prepared, you know, and increasing sales. But I realized that behind, behind all of that, um, there has to be proper structures because that is how the kingdom is built. Proper structures has, have to be in place. And as, as such, um, those are some of the areas that really, really um, stood out to me. And I'm actually applying right now in my business. As someone who is passionate about and also a victim of gender-based violence, I hope in the future I'll be able to um, sensitize persons um, on a community based level because I myself am involved in community service, community groups so I'm hoping that I'll be able to, to um, sponsor um, initiatives that will bring awareness to gender based violence. Thank you. Hello, my name is Veronica James owner of Veronica's Day Spa and Training Center. I'm also a participant of the Push Start project. Through the seminars implemented by this project, I have gotten both um, inspiration and direction as to how to better manage my business. Two areas of immediate benefits for my business are, I was able to re revise my mission and vision statement a result of the seminars and um, being empowered to more effectively utilize my social media platform to the point now that I'm all I'm already seeing some results now as it relates to the gender-based violence uh, the forum was so profound that I already sensitized my staff as to the far-reaching effect of, of this on the society Going forward, I would like to start a blog on my business website to bring an awareness about this subject. Thanks to the excellent management of the Push Start project, I'm able to do so. Thank you. Good day, everyone. I am Theresa Gaynor, and I am the project coordinator for the Push Start program. And with me, I have Michelle Grant, who is a participant, and Wesley Boynes, who is the chairman of the Northgate Youth and Family Development Foundation. We're going to be discussing the impact of the Push Start program. And we'll start with Michelle. Thank you. The gender-based violence aspect of the program, I think, was really a great idea. I think it was a genius act. We were made aware all of us were made aware of what gender-based violence really is. It's something that is common, unfortunately. We hear about it a lot, uh, but there is really not a term that is put to it, a name. We were able to do that through the Push Start Forum. Preventing gender-based violence is everybody's business. We are now aware as business persons as to how to handle and to treat with gender-based violence, especially in the workplace. 
our employees are sometimes faced with gender-based violence our customers our clients and now we are more aware the fora that we were a part of also brought clarity and definition as to exactly who is affected by gender-based violence and practical things as to how to approach how to handle it it was really a great experience and i look forward especially as somebody who has experienced gender-based violence and other persons who were participants in the program who aired their experiences also we look forward to working with persons you know as to how to impact society through our businesses great thanks michelle for me the opportunity to network and build partnership with other persons outside of the program you know i worked closely with tamara and nicholas from the forestry department and she was able to give me some guidance uh, we and within the program itself we find that a lot of the participants started to collaborate more closely with each other if they had a common business they would meet in small groups go over their sessions you know, put practical steps in place on how they're going to build up their own businesses. And we were really appreciative of that process. And to use a term that Yvonne taught me recently, we had to also practice progressive elaboration, where as we program progressed, we had to be flexible and be able to change and adapt to make sure that all of our objectives were met. And we also are very appreciative of that program. So it just really strengthened us as business persons and as a network of business persons. Thank you. Yes, I, I really agree with um, what you, the benefits which you ladies have pointed out. There are so many um, positive outcomes from this project. Um, for me, the most important one was the personal impact on the lives of the business people themselves and their partners. Okay, because what they learn uh, will go beyond running their own businesses. Um, I, I know the persons quite well who participated, and I can tell that their outlook on life have changed. Um, persons have become more organized in their thinking and their actions because life is a, on a whole is a business, and they were in this business development process. The, the principles which they, are, which they are learning, they are now applying it to the other components of their lives. Because I'm in a position I can see what is happening with a lot of them. They, they, have, they have adjusted, their whole posture in life have been changed and adjusted for the better. And I think that many of them are living life from a new place, a whole new worldview, a whole new way of um, getting things done. Okay, so um, so this was more than a business development program. This was like a human development in a, in a large way. So I really um, appreciate the Canada Fund for Local Initiatives I'm investing in this because this is not so much a photo up sort of project. They can take pictures all the time. This is people sitting down and considering and musing and making um, deep decisions so i really appreciate the process and i'm i'm looking forward to more of our small business persons um, participating and having such an experience it was really really great this was indeed a great start to a great program you know the push start this is the beginning of push start and we will continue as was said pull on more small business in, into the process and we'd like to truly express our thanks to the yes. Canada Fund for Local Initiative yes. for giving us this opportunity and this awesome start. Thank yes. you.